Hello and welcome. Red Heat is one of the better cop buddy movies with a couple of sharp cultural and comedic twists to it. But how did Arnold Schwarzenegger come to team up with Jim Belushi for the action thriller shot in Chicago and Moscow? At first glance, it seemed a little strange, muscle man Arnold with satirist and comedian Belushi. However, all and more was revealed when the pair joined director Walter Hill at a light-hearted press conference at the Cannes Film Festival just prior to the movie's release. Hill had cast Arnie as Captain Ivan Danko of the Moscow Police and Belushi as his kind-of American equivalent, a Chicago detective called Art Ridzik with the pair wrangling over the chase and capture of a dangerous Georgian drug kingpin. It was 1988, and director Hill was probably best known then for 48 Hours, Extreme Prejudice and The Long Riders. Arnie was already a huge action presence with The Terminator, Conan the Barbarian and Predator, while Jim came from TV's Saturday Night Live and movies like Salvador and The Little Shop of Horrors. So, now, this audio is the trio explaining, with the help of a French interpreter at the press conference in Cannes, how it all came together, with Belushi providing some hilarious spins on the making of the film. Um, So, uh, I have to say that there is no other director that could have pulled this movie off the way that it was done, because there's a certain style that Walter has, which is unlike anything else, which basically means that you have to go two months before you start shooting and do a uh, kind of a training camp where we start rehearsing the film, start working with the guns, start uh, working on the stunts, and there's a tremendous amount of preparation that Walter requires and demands. So when we go to the set, we can do it in as perfect as possible a way, and, uh, and I think that really paid off. So I think that uh, I'm very happy that I had the chance to work with Walt and to be directed, and I'm looking forward to many more movies with him. So then, uh, when we had the story nailed down, we were talking about who would be uh, the one that uh, could play the opposite to me and play the American cop. And we both looked at each other and we said at the same time, Jim Belushi. <laughs> so because we both saw the movie about last night, which uh, I felt that Jim had a fantastic acting performance in it and uh, we both wanted to work with him and so Jim came on board and he was very excited about it and so this is how this whole thing slowly developed and got to the stage where it is today. And um, I also want to just uh, mention one more thing and this is that uh, I'm also very happy to be here in Khan because this is like the second time I've been here now. The first time was 10 years ago and I came here with pumping iron and uh, I had a wonderful time here, and this kind of got me my start in the international career in movies. And so I think that it's a, I'm delighted to be back here and we're back in the year. Oui? <laughs> no? <laughs> Merci. <laughs> I, uh, I'm very happy with the movie. I uh, really enjoyed working with uh, Arnold. He, uh, it was quite a, quite a help to me in uh, preparing for the role. We both traveled in a police car together in Chicago for two weeks. Uh, we watched a, a couple of uh, very violent uh, arrests, and I protected Arnold during those. <laughs> um, he's still a little pissed at me because I beat him in arm wrestling every once in a while. And I'm very upset with Walter because he cut one of my best scenes in the movie. It was a very steamy, acrobatic sex act. (laughs) During the bus chase. (laughs) But he promised me in the sequel, for me, flying red heat, flying red heat, that that scene will be there. There was a lot of preparation in that with Arnold and Walter both supervising. And we do have some Polaroids, which we'll be selling after the press conference. I don't want you to get the wrong impression of Chicago from this movie. 
Um, not everyone in Chicago uh, swears as much as I do. C'est pas de tout le monde de Chicago qui a du monde qui parle aussi dur de lui. Or has as violent sex as I do. Sex aussi violent que lui dans le But um, Chicago people are very nice, but do remember that Al Capone came from Chicago. Les gens de Chicago sont tout à fait gentils, mais il y avait quand même Al Capone. I had a great time. <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it was a privilege to work with Arnold and Fiji and Roy Walton. And, uh, they both helped me. I'm, uh, I'm a bit of a no I was a bit of a novice at uh, you know, a movie with such magnitude and such violence. And it, I'm a very <laughs> under name that the Frost and she's seeing a very key of And uh, there was so much money put into it. Down down show for the Fiji. I used to make uh, small films where there wasn't that high of a risk. Yeah, there was no time to risk financial on these films. So uh, I, I appreciated the opportunity and I had the time in my life. Don't you that you did the movie? Don't say you did the movie. You know, look at opportunity to do this. And I got to keep the gun. Well, it was by design. I exactly how you do anything when you make it. Yeah, but I play politics. I think it's very really right. mysterious. Uh, I. I thought that, I think the first thing you do is you hire people that are good at comedy. And I thought that Arnold's stoicism would match up with Jim's for the bubbly nature quite well. I mean, Jim is a, a real master of this kind of mid-American. He's from Chicago, I guess you want to know. And uh, was trained in an improvisational way. I just thought that those, the, the, the two, the Russian stoicism, I mean, Arnold and I used to laugh that this was our version of Monochka, and, uh, and uh, I thought that would match up very well with Jim. I think it, it, it is very key, if, if the movie works at all, and the two parts were absolutely conceived for these two actors and written to what I believe their talents to be. So uh, and I think that rather than we shop around, as is usually the case in most pictures, when you shop around, you try to get the few things the best available person for the script you already have. But the little story Arnold told is quite correct. We, we knew we were doing this movie before we had a script, and we talked to Jim and got him aboard again before we had a script. So I, I think that was, if there's any secret to it, it was that. Decades later, of course, Arnie has long returned to the world of movies after his stint in California as the state's governor. His next movies are The Legend of Conan, Kung Fury and Triplets, a sequel to Twins with Eddie Murphy and Danny DeVito. Meanwhile, Jim is working on The Evolution of Nate Gibson and a film called simply Fairy Tale. 